Welcome to the tutorial on creating a bug in GDMS. To begin, open Internet Explorer, and navigate to the GDMS4 Diagnostics website. To add a new bug, select the new bug link from the Add New Work Item group on the GDMS main page. Note, required fields are highlighted in yellow. Tabs with required fields will display a warning icon to the left of the tab label. A warning message across the top of the page will notify you that a required field cannot be left empty. Add a meaningful title to the title field. Note, the warning message progresses to the next required field as soon as you move focus out of the title field. Select a project from the project pull-down list. Select a tool owner from the tool owner pull-down list. Note, the tool owner is ultimately responsible for the work item throughout its life cycle. Select the priority from the priority pull-down list. Select the release the issue was found in from the found in pull-down list. Select the target release from the target release pull-down list. Select the markets affected from the description tab, choose all that apply. Document the symptoms in the symptom field. Add any steps needed to reproduce the issue in the repro steps tab. Add pertinent system info to the system info tab. Save, or save and close the work item to post the bug back to the database. You will note that you will be unable to add a task to a bug while it's in the new state. However, software updates can be added to a bug in any state. All changes to the work item are captured in the History tab. Scroll down and expand the entries to review the changes. Work item milestones are captured in the Key Dates tab. Attachments associated to the work item can be added under the Attachments tab. Review the Attachments tutorial for more information on attaching files to a work item. Save and close the work item to make sure all changes have been posted back to the database. This completes the tutorial on adding a bug in GDMS.